Now, the Broad-Based Black Economic Empowerment, or BBBEE, summit that was held last week, and one of the main topics was the new rules which could make it harder for businesses in South Africa to comply. Sipo Sikodi, Deputy Director General at the Department of Trade and Industry, joins me now, and uh, with him is Nonzama Kaiba from Empowerdex. Uh, Nonzama, let's start with you, and uh, let's just set the scene here. We talked quite a bit about it last week, uh, and there was quite a lot that came out of that conference, and clearly it's an important conference that's just happened. In simple terms, what's going to change as a result of this conference and the proposals that have come out? What will be different for the businesses out there? Okay, so in terms of the changes that have been discussed at the summit, first of all, the codes will be gazetted by Friday, um, this coming Friday, the 11th. Um, the big changes are around the fact that there is now going to be a commission which will be empowered to act on fronting activities and that it becomes a criminal offence which we don't just speak about and um, publicise in the news but it actually is a punishable offence. Yeah. Um, the other changes are around the um, changes in the targets or the, the, the parameters on which people are being measured. Um, in that an exempt microenterprise, for example, is now an entity whose turnover is um, under 10 million as opposed to the old 5 million, yeah. which should make entry into markets a little bit easier because you're taking away that need for an entity whose turnover is simply over 5 million to um, get a BEE certificate. Is this a good thing, what they've done? Yes, it is. Mm. Sipo, from the government's point of view, uh, what changes in the way you would go about things apart from the rules changing? You've got to get people to comply. It sounds like it needs more, more compliance, more inspection. Have you got the resources to do that? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's not about complying, but it's all about <coughs> ensuring that we are growing this economy by bringing more people into the center of the economy. Mm -hmm. At the moment, as we all know, you know because of the past, you know, it's still centered around very few people of this, uh, the, 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 the society. So, so it's, it's not about compliance, not about making it difficult for companies you know, um, to implement BEE, yes. Uh, remember now that uh, we have the, the presidential tree BEE council th that advises the president, well, through the Department of Trade and Industry. So th they suggested that we hold this summit so that we call, can call all the stakeholders to discuss on the way forward after we have amended the, B, the Triple BEE Act and also we have amended the, the course of good practice. But all this work we have been advised by the Presidential Advisory Council, obviously working together with other stakeholders. Yeah. Because these, as, as you know, you know um, they, 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 there's still a problem in, in terms of black people accessing opportunities in the economy. So really we are working together with private companies, NGOs, to ensure that um, you know, we level the playing fields. Nonzama, uh, the word fronting has come up and clearly that's about ownership. Uh, that's about ownership at the highest level. And I'm just looking at a, an article by Mark Barnes today in Business Day where he talks about the BEE and uh, his whole article's about it and he says, the, one of the problems was that you had to borrow, a lot of the BEE deals were that you had to borrow in order to get shares. Mm -hmm. And he says the rate of return on the shares almost always was exceeded by the rate that you had to repay your debt at. So that hasn't really worked uh, as it should have. Perhaps too much emphasis on ownership at the top, not enough on ownership by the workers in a company. I mean, if you think most workers in South Africa are black, if most companies gave shares to their workers, surely that's more empowering on a broad-based basis. That is more empowering on a broad-based basis, but you've also got to take into consideration that um, Oh, uh, BE is more than just the ownership element, so you've got other ways to empower people through skills development initiatives, through uh, management development initiatives, through the social development initiatives and the enterprise development initiatives that are available in the country. So uh, limiting, uh, ownership, limiting BE to ownership is um, not necessarily correct and one of the things that the codes um, seek to uh, correct is the application of BE in its broadest sense possible. Mm -hmm. Sipo, the, uh, looking at the, the, the comment has been made from a lot of the players last week that you know, we need to build a black industrialist base, we need to get more genuine black businesses as opposed to shares in businesses which were historically white. Mm -hmm. Are there black industrialists or potential industrialists who are waiting but are not being offered the opportunity or does that class still have to be created? 
Look, the, the, there is not enough. Um, you, you know, uh, as you know, BE alone, the, B, the Triple B Act alone won't really transform the economy. So we need to bring more programs of government, you know, in, into the fore. We need to partner with, 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 with local industries. You know, there are programs at the moment, you know, we are talking about incubation program. Uh, we are expanding this program now. We have about f 42 incubators uh, currently. By 2015, we aim to have 150 incubators. So that this incubation program will assist these aspiring uh, BEE um, um, uh, entrepreneurs. You know, we are also looking at the funding itself. You know, the DFIs, what are the requirements for funding? You know, the collaterals that are, that are needed. What is it that the state can play? in terms of assisting these people. You know, you, you, you correctly said that, uh, you know, people just got, got into this share ownership uh, as, as schemes, and then the shares didn't perform very well, and, mm. and a lot of those now are, are un underwater. I remember the great excitement mm. with the Sassel empowerment scheme, and then the, the share price dropped, and people said, no, hang on, that's our money, but that's, unfortunately, that's how the market works. Mm. Just another question for you, Seb, and then your view on this one, and Namzama. There's been a lot of uh, talk, for example, with the Goldfields deal of, of allegations of political involvement so so it's about who's connected and Mark <coughs> Barnes says in his comment in his comment uh, here in his column he says the people who got the lion's share of the f shares that had to be given away were those who were the most connected not those who were the most impoverished how do we get away from the connected and the fairly well empowered already being more empowered and getting r richer and at the bottom no progress Yes, you see, that's why we are promoting the issue of the black industrialist. <coughs> because here we say we have to create new uh, enterprises, new industries, <coughs> excuse me, um, other than, you know, g getting ownership from the traditional white-owned companies, you know, because that's where the problem is now. Because unfortunately, you know, um, I, I, from the other side now, I mean, I mean, the owners of these traditional companies, they also look at who, who, who can help us, you know, to get conducts to the top and all those things. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's an unfortunate part. You know, that's a This is an taken. unintended consequence, isn't it? Unintended consequence. You see, that's why we, we, we like Namzamo is saying, we brought in the cause of group practice so that skills development, you know, enterprise development mm -hmm. and social economic development, all those areas, because that's where empowerment of the people is really. Yeah. Well, if empowerment was easy, it would have happened a long time ago. Uh, it's difficult, isn't it? it because is. of our past. What about the problem of the well-connected remaining well-connected and getting richer? I think that's a broader question than just um, us saying that we can restrict the access for those people who are well-connected. Um, one of the things that if you look at the sector codes, for example, in the Financial Services Charter, they speak of access to financing where you're looking at um, opening opportunities to black SMMEs um, and providing funding and yeah. allowing the finance, and finance environment to provide funding at, at rates that can be repayable by those um, SMMEs. So yeah. that can be one of the solutions to yeah. that problem. But unfortunately, yeah. it's a much wider problem than just um, than we can yeah. speak about. What, yeah, what it hasn't done is really uh, uh, encourage entrepreneurship. It hasn't yeah. encouraged the growth of small businesses into bigger businesses in, in uh, black hands. Yeah. Uh, a, a bigger question for you, Sipa, is that South Africa's labor market is rigid. Uh, for black industrialists, white industrialists, we are perceived as a difficult place to do business in. Surely, in terms of empowerment, an, a, a more open labor market would make it easier to create that black industrialist class. Oh yes, you see that, that that's why the economic development department is leading these social accords, you know, with labour, with with, with 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 other sectors of the economy, because we have to look at this perceived program, you know, um, so that we ensure that uh, those young entrepreneurs, young enterprises that are coming up, they are not being constrained. You know, by the rigidity, whether so it's perceived or not. So the question is, Nozaba, is one part of government talking to another part here? Because on the, the empowerment agenda is not perhaps the, the agenda of the trade unions. Perhaps, but we would hope that, um, as Sipa says, that all the sectors of government are speaking to each other and they come to the table in terms of um, aligning the requirements of BEE and the growth of the economy to the labour market. Mm.